All right. I think I've kind of pinpointed my fir my main issue with this game. The pacing is all over the place and really confusing, so whenever I, like, step away to go to the bathroom or eat a meal or anything like that, or, you know, just put the game down for a day, I have no idea what I'm doing next. Oh, right, I'm going to the opera house. It, the, the, like, the plot hooks are so unmemorable, it's very easy to miss. All right, uh... So I guess we gotta go back for spider... Let, let's go to the Rochester sub subway line. Uh, I must have missed something. Maybe he's back here or whatever. Um, but I would like to finish that that duel, if you even want to call it that. All right, let's summon all of my monsters. Uh, I'm just gonna blast everybody. My SP comes back pretty fast. Stop running around. This dumb spider. It's annoying. <laughs> Unfortunately, this only does one damage to it no matter what, but it knocks it down, which is totally worthwhile. Okay, so we've got... I, I'll go to the Opera House shortly. Um, Unless, of course, he's... This is to the Central Station basement. So, uh, chances are the place I'm going for is actually... Is actually back towards the Opera House. You know, I'll go that direction, and if it turns out it's wrong, well, we'll do the duel later. I don't even know if there's, like, much of a reward for it apart from just doing it, but... I... I don't know. It doesn't really matter one way or another to me. Yeah, I don't care. Looks like there's no enemies nearby. Enemies spawn. You... So I'm, I'm just gonna wander around here for a bit. Uh, we'll see if we can get Lux some extra experience. And, uh... Let's see, we'll see if we can get Lux some extra experience, and past this point, uh, I don't know what else I'm gonna do with myself. Wander around till we find the right way to go. Uh, I guess we want to go north this time, don't we? Because the last time was to the sub, uh, the sewer entrance. So let's loop around south, pop our head in there. I just want to figure out where freaking Alucard is hanging out, so I can, uh, complete that section. Oh, hey! I actually have to kill a bunch of shadows for a quest. Andy. I think the quests are completely randomly generated in this game. I could be wrong, but I think I think they are. Because, uh... It, it mostly seems like just go kill X, and then as soon as I clear that one, it gives me another one. Uh, in some cases, the exact same. Which I guess isn't a terrible way to do it, just because... You know... Kill, kill X quests work great when uh, they're not the main goal of the game. It gets a little bit annoying in games like World of Warcraft. The frame rate actually chugged there for a second. I'm not used to that on consoles, honestly. Um, but, uh, you know, Kill X quests are, are fun when they're kind of random, like, side rewards. You know, if, while you're out in the field, it's like, you have killed X things. Here you go. You've got your reward. Oh, wait. I guess we're going to the Opera House. Eh, whatever. We'll finish the duel later. Uh, let's see. Did multiple... Oh, oh, I see. I got turned around there, literally. And that was confusing. Why Why do that with the ca I don't know. Anyway. Uh, or maybe I didn't. Oh yeah, I've totally already been in here. What am I doing? This is the place that I wander wandered around and realized I couldn't go anywhere with it, so it's just like, alright, whatever. Didn't I take the hotel door earlier? Maybe I didn't. Maybe I walked by it. Or I wasn't paying attention. I have no idea. Well, either way. Uh... I should probably actually... I am shooting directly over his head. I don't know. Whatever. But yeah, un unfortunately, since this game takes place solely in a hotel... Uh, going back to my original point at the start of this segment, I don't even know where this goes in an episode or not. Um, but, uh, you know, most games you have, like, a very clear kind of idea where to go, you know, so-and-so's so kidnapped a person, you have to go defeat this enemy. This one's like, go find a demon in the opera house. But since I'm always coming from the exact same home base, over and over and over again, there's no feeling of... of travel. 
Because I really aren't... I mean, I'm going places, but i got such a short time span. There's no real, like, world exploration or running around. Like, let's take Xenoblade, for example. Yeah, a lot of it had to do with, like... You know, here's this big open world to pull from. But ultimately, like... Ultimately, yeah, sure, I was going to and from the same home base over and over again. But the world was so big and so, like, explorable, it kind of felt like I was going places and doing things. Even if the moment they gave me a mech, it got rid of that. And I guess in this case, uh, they let you fast travel to various nodes as soon as you unlock them, which is pretty... Actually, I mean, that that's a not bad mechanic, all things considered. But... Let's just take the door. We can pick up some more quests, plus... Uh, this lets me farm more, uh, more days, effectively. Also experience for Lux, which is important. He is getting strong. Okay, so, yeah, Lux is getting strong, too. That's good. Uh, so we can do... Oh, party! SP recovers at a faster rate. Or HP at set intervals. Let's keep going with HP regen, just because SP has yet to be an issue. Plus, he's a melee type. Okay, so he's getting some good levels, and then we get day reports. I'm just gonna skip past these, most of them don't matter. Uh, I guess we'll keep them all for the time being, some of those might actually be useful. Assume we don't have anything major, let's go turn in a... A quest. Or not turn in A quest. We've got spirit slaying, but we've got go to the subway line, go to the alley, toy soldier, or imp. Let's do toy soldiers, just because those have been common recently. And let's see, action. Oh, right. We should probably go get a daytime quest. The more daytime quests I get, the uh, the more skills I get along the way. So, food is everything. Helpful Arnis, Timon Novelist. I kind of really wish it would show you what stat benefits you get from those, but whatever. Uh, skill. Yeah, we get some new ones. So now we can get foodie. So, cooking and eating are now available. Uh, let's see, add deck party. I want to save up for daytime activity. So, Finesse, s Stamina, and Charm. Ah, uh, yeah, let's, let's do this. And then let's go switch my daytime schedule so I'm working on my Stamina, because that's the lowest right now. So we could do this. Ah, uh, so three Charm. Yeah, Bird Watching. There we go! Alright, so I'll let that train up as, as we go along. I do like the uh, passive skill system in this game. That actually works out pretty well. So this is the market quarter? Opera House front. Uh, I got it. I was confused. But yeah, uh, taking the doors whenever I possibly can is a good way to get myself levels as well as my uh, servants levels. Uh, though, honestly, it doesn't seem to make much of, like, a statistical difference. Like, I think you could actually complete this game as a level 1 character. It just doesn't seem like a... I'm gonna say it doesn't seem like a good idea, but it probably doesn't matter. Um, but I, w they originally said when, when I unlocked leveling up, it's like, yeah, you could, um... You, you can just keep it in the rosier clock. Okay, I like this music. Okay. Yeah, the environments are low detailed, but at least they're kind of nice. A little bit generic. I don't know. Still a mildly important thing for me in this game, just because. Okay. Uh, clearly, I should have gone with Imp Slayer instead of the... Eh, whatever. It doesn't matter. This is, like, the goofiest skill. You just go in the air and you just swing, swing, swing until... I don't even know. Uh, let's see. God, I don't even remember what I was saying before I went into this area. I guess the lack of travel makes it feel like I'm not going anywhere. I mean, I am, but... I guess my standard... My standards for JRPGs have been set by, you know, Breath of Fire, Final Fantasy, all of those. And so playing a lot of these, like much shorter, much more vapid uh, action JRPGs 
it always feels a little bit disappointing. A, a lot disappointing in a lot of cases. You know, it's like, okay, you know, we've got all we've got all these like great precedents, but it I I mean budget is gotta be it. You know, a lot of the budget gets put into the character art or the voice acting. Honestly, I would I would totally forgo voice acting. Please keep Arna safe. I would totally forgo voice acting in video games if it meant that the video games would be better. It's nice to have voice acting, but it's not that important. Not to me. Like, I'm, I'm totally cool with... I'm totally cool with games like, um... Uh, I'm totally cool with games like, uh... Oh, what is it? It was a great one. Oh... Shoot. Golden Sun. Golden Sun had no voice acting, or cutscenes or anything of that. And it had, like, a massive, explorable world, really interesting characters, uh, actually solid plot, so on and so forth. And, uh... That game must have been pretty low budget, comparatively. It was also, like... Probably one of my favorite JRPGs I've ever played. Can I break this? I can. Cool. Do I need to? No. But I can. And that's the important part. For whatever reason, my, like, Obey Captain... Uh, his Obey Captain move can be used, like, an inordinate amount of times. Way more than any other character can use their moves. Interesting. wonder why. It's, like, super efficient. I'm okay with it. Why are you here? Okay, everything has a price, especially information about the Night Lord. Why are you here? I'm just really curious, like, why is Lloyd standing out here? Can Lloyd even fight these things? Like, they've never established exactly how, um... How these characters are, like, set up in any way, shape, or form. Apart from, like, messing up Lux's AI really, really bad. Uh... But, like, uh... You know, we know Arnis can fight, because she's half-demon. But what about, like... What about everybody else? Like... I assume you can fight against these things, but it seems like it's supposed to be inadvisable or whatever. I'm not gonna bother with that. Oh, shit. I think that one's only harmable via... I have no idea how this is supposed to work. I think I need magic to kill these guys. Or, yeah, my, my servants have got to be the ones to kill them. Because I can't do anything to them. Alright, that's fine. Uh, let's see. I don't know. I loved... I loved, uh... Golden Sun. Golden Sun, and I think it was... I think I played Breath of Fire 2. I never played Breath of Fire 3, though I'd love to. Um... But, like... A lot of the, like, old-style JRPGs... For SNES, Game Boy Advance, whatever you want to, uh, whatever platform they're released for. Like, those had really interesting stories as far as I was concerned. Maybe I'm, like, misremembering a lot of this based on, like, childhood nostalgia. But, uh, it really does feel like the genre has changed and not always for the better. Bleh, better. Better. Xenoblade Chronicles X. Or not Xenoblade Chronicles X. Just Xenoblade was really good. Or Xenoblade Chronicles. Like, that was... That's probably still one of my favorite JRPGs from the last, uh, genre. Ooh! Assault Aura Enhanced damages enemies that approach you. Alright. We also get our day quest done. Yeah. Good. So we get more stamina. I'm just not even bothering to read most of these anymore, because they just don't seem relevant. Okay, I now should have enough blood that we can level up. I'm always just like, is there going to be a relevant cutscene? Because she welcomes us, but is it going to be anything important? No, she just greets us every single time. She'll probably have things to talk to us about after we transform, well not transform, after we uh, level up. 
Because I think we get uh, guns or something after this. Blitz, shooter form, same tribe limit up, and time boost. I really wish there was something else other than that just kind of like weird PNG of like a blood splatter. Like it'd be cool if there was like some fluid physics of like a, a giant orb of blue blood or whatever. Okay, so I don't know what blitz shooter form is. Uh, we get some extra stats and time boost. No idea. Oh! Hey, we also get uh, Spirit Finesse, Stamina, and Charm. That's useful. My daytime activities this way. ルースワルトの ここ、夢の世界なんだもんな。正直に言うよ。自分を滅ぼす敵だと思って。アーネス。あなたもその苦しみを緩和できるなら。血の提供を呼びかけることもできるのですよ。血の提供だって。そうです。彼女に新聖女リリティスに血を分けてもらうことを提案しています。エージェ
そうでしょうねあなたは彼女に心を奪われ彼女もあなたに心を奪われているのですものそれは聖女と聖騎士として望ましい関係ではありますでどういう意味 The pauses <laughs> She pauses for like over a second and it's like alright she's done I was like hey I don't understand any ah whatever Because, like, okay, fine, I pause. And, like, I understand my own words, and you guys do too. So, as a result, you generally know I'm going to finish the sentence, or I just peter off and get distracted by something. In this case, since I don't understand the words, it's just like dot, 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 you know, like. Was that the end of the sentence? I have no idea. Anyway, I'm going to stop complaining about this because it's a consistent problem for me. And I'll just try and do better. Or learn Japanese between episodes. That's never good. Yay! Relationship is better. And we're gone. Yeah, so I'm just. I'm just going to go for the optimum path right now for the good ending, and then go from there. I assume I don't have any other ending, or not endings, activities? There. Okay, to the lobby. Yeah, so, at, at some, well, we'll get all of the endings, obviously, but I'll go for the good one in the beginning, just because. Uh, I also looked it up, and apparently max level is 10. No, 11, my bad. Uh, generally, you're not supposed to get up to level 11 before the end of the game, though. Like, you don't get, you get to 11 at, in, like, post-game stuff. Which makes some amount of sense. Okay, so we got a bunch of skills. We got Blitz Shooter Form. Sword Expertise, Hellfire Hunter, Moon Dancer. So these just mean I can stay in them longer. However, we've got same tribe. Okay, so I can get multiple of the same uh, servant. And time limit during search. Oh, well that's useful. However, first... Oops. First... I'm just off stamina-wise. That's unfortunate. Okay. Well, do I still have these ones? So we got to kill toy soldiers and spirits, and I got to kill six of them. We've also got orders in the cure. Yeah, I could just end this one. I've made no progress on it. We might as well pick up doll slaying or which one gives me more? Sixteen. Oof. Wait, what? Oh, cancel, cancel this quest. I see. Yeah, so let's accept orders from the Curia, and... Looks like there's a lot of the, lot of these now. Alright, I'm fine with that. I do like the daytime, act, daytime activities thing. Like, the the concept of the, the main character passively gaining stats and skills as a result of having a life outside of the game. Like, that's actually probably one of the more interesting uh, progression systems I've seen in the game. I mean, it's really basic. But it's a neat way of handling stat and skill ups instead of like grinding combat just to get all of these things. As far as I'm concerned, anyway. I don't know. I like it. It's kind of like how Persona handles things in a way. Uh, yeah, actually, very sim similar, which I think is a good system. Anyway, overwrite save data. Yeah. All right. Uh, let's see. Where are we? Where are we going again? We're going. We're going to the Opera House, right? Yes. Okay. Russwall Opera House. We were like halfway through. Gotcha. Haven't, record, haven't recorded this for a couple of days. Love to. Busy. Anyway. Uh, but yeah, haven't recorded this a couple of days. Middle of the episode, too. It's really hard to keep up with some of these things, honestly. Uh, oh, right. We should summon everybody. There we go. Okay. Uh, and, you know, just content gets gets passed in. So you have to cut the, the, the lesser series to make room for the bigger ones. And the newer games. Ugh. It's a never-ending cycle. Anyway, uh, at least I finished Digimon. You know what? Let's go up this way. Dead ends usually mean trick. 
the random enemy attack. This works too. That worked incredibly well, in fact. I love the I love the aerial attack. I don't actually know if it does a whole lot of damage, but uh makes me happy when I see it. Okay, there we go. Another blood spear. I feel like the accessories in this game are uh not nearly as useful as in like some other games. The problem is they're kind of randomly generated jeez. Hi. They're randomly generated and there's just so many of them. Okay. Uh, well, not like so many of them. They're randomly generated and like the effects don't really change, so it's just kind of like, well, I get extra SP, I guess. Uh, I could probably go for the other ones. Okay. Like, I could, uh, I could go out of my way to use some of the other ones, but I like the SP even if I'm currently not using my, uh, even if I'm currently not using my special attacks or anything, because mostly laziness. It doesn't seem like it's, uh, terribly necessary. For me, me to go out of my way to use them. Uh, uh, hi. I would like to have my, uh, I would like to have my companions back. Don't lock them out. Alright. There we go. I'm gonna keep having, uh, Captain Twigster use his special. Because how many times can he use it in one go? Like, constantly. I really feel like uh, Sephiroth should be just like coming through any any moment now. Okay, so that's locked off. I guess we go down here. What the? Are that? It's like a bad mountain lion or something. Okay. Okay, gotta remember that's how you dodge. I think there's one way to block too, but I don't remember. Oh well. <laughs> We'll figure it out someday. That does not do damage. I'm just gonna keep pressing this because that's the same as the uh, dodge button in uh, in Hundred Knight. Oh, I can't hit these like Puma things. Maybe it's this thing. Maybe the Alarune is uh, or the fake Alarune is giving them a shield. That actually seems like the most likely likely thing right now. All right, let's just hadoken them to death. It works well enough. Okay, we done? Nope. Now we're done. This cat is a ma massive MacGuffin. Okay, so I guess we're not going to... <laughs> like we, how we had to go down to fight some dudes to be able to go through this door. I guess it makes sense. ...昔の人間たちは星と星をつないで夜空に大きな絵を描こうとしたの。この星々の並びが多くの旅人を導いたわ。一つ一つは意味をなさずとも集うことで新たな意味を帯びることもある我ら妖魔も人と結びつくことで新たな力を得られるやもしれん教皇庁と接触する予定の妖魔ってあなたのことなの聞きたいのは私の方よ純潔の
Okay. This isn't working as well as I thought it was. It sort of is, sort of isn't. Okay, I think I'm hitting him. I have no... Yeah, I am hitting him. Okay. I'm gonna just hit him with as many punches as I can. There we go. Luckily... Ah, oh, shoot. We lost it. Uh, the bunny thing attacks so uh, so rapidly, we could actually probably... Ow. Uh, maybe, maybe, ow, maybe... Yeah, there was some amount of ow, and we're currently stunned. Okay. So we're fighting... What is this guy called? The Blue Blood Count Rosier. Unfortunately, he doesn't have any particular obvious uh, tells to his attacks. He's kind of just doing a thing. Now he has a band. I, I think I'm getting smacked around by half the instruments. That's kind of amusing. Okay, there they go. They're done. Well, let's see. Yeah, he's not doing too much damage to me. We might as well do a fatal bite in here. And a special. Yeah, we're not uh, we're not taking too much damage, so it's not... Uh... Well, that was lucky. I don't entirely know what happened there, uh, but he, like, he summed all of his instruments and they just went down. Okay, do we get bunny time soon? Yeah, we get bunny time relatively soon. I think I'm hitting him. I'm gonna just keep pedokening him until it stops being a viable strategy. Because, like... Currently, that is that is what we do. We are just the Hadoken machine. Oh. Did he just... He just locked all of my dudes. Get back here. I wonder if, I wonder if they're sealed within his instruments or something. I don't know. Well, either way, this is a... Uh-oh. We just got symboled. Ow. 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 Um. Let's avoid getting hit by that. Okay, so I am on the cusp of death. Oh, we can go bunny mode, though. Bunny mode might be able to save our, save our butts. So I'm assume... And we're dead. Ah, damn it. Start me, too. Okay, that restarts the fight. So don't get hit by the symbolism thing. Can we can we skip this? Because that that brought me down to three HP in one go, which did not seem very fair, but whatever. Also, the locking my healer units. Okay. There we go. So let's try that again. Ah, oh, shoot. Like he locked them. It, it must be something to do with the instruments. Uh, the up in the sky and kind of hard to hit. I guess I could use my, like, aerial moves to try and, uh, hit him along the way. Okay. We should probably do a lock-on so we don't just keep walking past this guy. Okay. Okay. Get back here. I kind of know what I'm doing this time around. I kind of mostly don't. We'll save the but We'll save our, um, overload mode for later. Okay. Come on. I don't know what the range is on this one. I was hoping that would be more. Shoot. Let's see if I can rampart them down. Okay, we haven't succeeded yet. I really don't know how he did the ceiling move. That's kind of the frustration part. It's like, and I'm not entirely sure if I can hit those instruments either. So I can keep trying. Oh, they're back down to earth and they've knocked me around. Okay, I think we got them. Yep, we did. Okay. Yeah, so as soon as he summons those instruments, I'll... Special. Hopefully we'll hit a couple of them. Unfortunately, it looks like uh, the instruments only take damage from my own, uh, my own units. Like, my character specifically can't hurt them for some mysterious reason. Never been able to understand that one, honestly. Okay. Okay. We're back in this. Oh, he's stunned. Shoot. Okay. So he's got his dumb gong business. Okay, that's a special move which we've gotten out of the way of. 
Good. What are you doing now? I don't know how long my guys are going to be. Okay, yeah, it's bunny mode time. Okay, let's do this. I don't know what we're doing. We're also not targeting on him anymore and we've messed up his instruments. That's okay. Okay, no special move for you. I want to re-summon all of my, uh... I wanted to say Digimon, but they're not Digimon. Okay, we succeeded. Fuck. Do a Mega Heal. I'm gonna just get him distracted by my guys for a second. Okay, we're back up to full. And we can summon Rampart. Good. I know his name's not Rampart, but I'm just calling him Rampart. Ow. Because that... That's the only thing I can call him. Okay. Okay. I'm gonna just mash all of my abilities. I don't feel like fighting him. Alright, we got it there. Freaking near instant death moves. I hate them. They just don't feel good in games. こんな邪陽と渡り合えるなんてあなたはやはり人間ではないようねだがせっかく集めた大地を吸わないとはヨウマでもないようだな私は私よ人間とかヨウマとかそんなことは関係ないならば Incarnation of Night, King of Demons. Don't know. Yorunokimi. なかでも君主と呼ばれるのは最強のヨウマ。それは、もはや神にも等しい存在で、人間が立ち打ちできるものではないと認識してるわ。そこまで理解しているならば、夜の中が我らにとってどのような存在かもわかるだろう。夜は
お嬢様の不安も消えるでしょうねあるいは増えるかだよねユリーティスは戻ってるええ今日は珍しく早めにお休みになられましたよ友達と遊んで疲れたんだろうねごちそうさまただいま<笑>人血の妖魔相手に何を調べてきたの起きてたのそれともそれ寝言もうからかわないであなたが何を考えてるかなんて私わかるもの何怒ってるのさ友達と遊んできたんだろ嫌なことでもあったのちゃん、取ったくせに友達ってあの猫のことは<笑>リュリュごめんアナスったらひどいわ。私のことなんかほったらかして一人で危険なことばっかり危険なことなんてないさごまかさないで純血の妖魔相手に夜の君の封じ方を聞いたんでしょ私知ってるんだからなんでわかるんださては教皇庁が教皇庁に聞かなくたってあなたが何を考えてるかなんて私わかるもの夜の君は夜の化身夜そのものなのよ夜をどうにかするなんてできっこないわ君が信じなくても私はやるよ私が君を守るどれだけ危険か分かってるの相手は妖魔の中の妖魔夜の君なのよなら君が聖女をやめればいい世界なんて滅ぶに任せればいいんだそんなことならしょうがないじゃないか相手が神様だろうが魔王だろうが私が君を守るよ夜の君のことも聖女のこともずっと昔から決まっていたことなのよあなたが責任を感じることないじゃないしょうがないさだって友達になっちゃったんだものあなたバカだわリュリーティスどうして利用されてるのかわからないんだよリュリーティスのバカどうぞごゆっくり。あなたたち朝っぱらからチワ喧嘩ですか<笑>バーガー触らぬ神にたたりなしだ我がホテルの雰囲気<笑>はあ、い、はい、はい、はい、はい、はい、はい、はい、はい、はい、はい、はい、はい、はい、はい、はい、はい、はい、A lot. I don't know how much we need to level up though. It actually says when I pause. So I'll look that one up. Anyway, hey, level. Unlux. Cool. Wow, 
He actually has a really good attack gain. Okay. Attacks chain more easily for each servant or restores HP at set intervals. Ooh. Because if I stack a bunch of these, we'll never... We won't have to worry about HP that much. Let's go with that. Okay. Oh, he's catching up pretty fast. The knight is still young. Please continue fiend hunting. Due to a short search time... Oh, God. We've beat a boss! Alright. Oh, whatever. We'll just keep these for the time being. I'll do inventory management later. Of course, we're probably going to have like 30 cutscenes. No? Yes. Oh, boy. Alright. There's a lot of stuff to do, but you know what? I think this is a great stopping point. A little bit early, but, uh, you know, we had stuff beforehand. So, I guess I'll see you guys in the next episode, unless this note says something. Nope. Okay, yeah. See you guys in the next episode of Knights of Azure. And as always, thanks for watching.